Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start to story. AI Tay for not making my son take down a social media post criticizing my wife. My wife and I are both in our mid-30s, and we've got a 14-year-old son. I've been a stay-at-home dad since he was born while my wife has had a pretty demanding job, so she's been a bit more hands-off when it comes to parenting. We've always been on the same page about raising him or so I thought, until this whole thing went down. A while back my son wakes up, and I figure we should go grab some breakfast and have a chat. I wanted to talk to him about this social media post he made that had caused some drama with my wife. I didn't want to just shut him down though. I wanted him to realize on his own what he might have done wrong, and hopefully, take some steps to fix it himself. So, we're sitting there and pretty early into our conversation, he pulls out his phone and shows me that he'd already edited the post. He said he started feeling guilty about it the night before and decided to change it up. If he hadn't done that, or if he refused to, I was ready to hit him with a two-week social media ban. Contrary to what some folks might think, I do set boundaries with my kid. It's just that, in my experience, discipline usually falls on the parent who's around the most. We talked about how venting on social media can feel good in the moment, like getting a quick thrill from being a little petty and having people see it. But that excitement doesn't last. He agreed, obviously, since he was already feeling bad about it. I suggested he try journaling, writing letters, or even talking to me, his mom, or another trusted adult when he's upset. I wanted him to know his feelings were valid, and I wanted him to express them, just not in a public way where he might say something in the heat of the moment that he'd really regret later. We had a solid conversation, and it was clear we'd be having more of these in the future. Social media can be a tricky place for young guys, especially with all the noise out there. I'm grateful we've got the kind of relationship where he feels comfortable talking to me about what he's seeing online and what he thinks about it. Plus, he's got some good male role models in his life who give him a positive perspective on masculinity, so he doesn't feel the need to turn to the wrong influences. Then we shifted gears and started talking about his relationship with his mom. This part is pretty personal, so I'm going to keep some of it to myself, but I'll tell you this, we decided to have a family meeting before dinner to talk about maybe starting family therapy. I'm committed to helping them connect better, and I think having a therapist or mediator involved could really help. My own relationship with my wife needs some work too, and I want to make sure we're strong co-parents going forward. Oh, and just to address something that kept coming up, my son wasn't exposed to any wild stuff while he was on tour. He wasn't drinking or anything like that. He hung out with the roadies, had some mocktails and spent most of his time by the soundboard, because he's super into music production. This whole experience just deepened his love for live music, and I'm not about to let my 14-year-old do more than maybe taste a sip of wine at dinner if he asks. I appreciate everyone who engaged with me respectfully. I'll admit, I was the asshole in some parts of this. I should have stepped in sooner and addressed the situation the night it happened. I also need to work on my communication with my wife and do more to support her relationship with our son. Your advice was helpful, and I'm open to answering any more questions you might have. So, to give you the backstory, my son's always been a good kid, great grades, well-behaved, maybe a little spoiled, but aren't they all? Because of the open communication we've got, I've rarely had to dish out any serious punishments. He's got a close bond with a longtime friend of mine who plays in a local band. This guy's like a father figure to my son, and they click over their shared love of music. During a recent visit, my friend mentioned he was going on tour soon, and my son was all ears. He came to me later, begging to go with them during his fall break, promising he'd be on his best behavior, and that he wouldn't ask for anything ever again. After thinking it over, I gave him a maybe, and talked to my friend about it. He was cool with it, especially since his own son, who's around my kid's age, sometimes tads along on these tours. I brought it up to my wife, and after a brief conversation she agreed. Fast forward to the week before the tour. My son's packed and ready to go, and my wife suddenly asks where he's headed. I reminded her, and she said she thought I was joking. I had no clue what part of it sounded like a joke, but she was firm that our son couldn't go. I had to talk her down after our son went to his room, practically in tears. When he got back from the tour, I'd never seen him so happy. He got to help the roadies set up for the shows, he got let into bars, 
and he kept one of those X's on his hand just to show me when he got home, and my friend couldn't stop praising how helpful he was. But then, my son made a social media post with photos from the tour, and the caption was pretty spicy. He wrote stuff like, this almost didn't happen, thanks mom, and friend spent a lot of his free time with me, unlike my mom. That post led to a major argument. My wife found out about it and demanded he take it down. When he refused, she turned to me to talk some sense into him. I refused too. I told her that while I didn't think what he did was right, it was coming from a place of feeling ignored by her. Now she's giving me the silent treatment. And just to clear up a common question, I'm not encouraging my son to air our dirty laundry online. I just don't think telling him to delete the post should be our first move, especially when it's clear he's genuinely hurt. We're the parents, we can't just act on impulse. This is a teachable moment, and I want to approach it with empathy and understanding. Just telling him to delete the post, without explaining why and without offering better ways to express himself, wouldn't be enough. So, yeah, I might have been wrong in some areas, but I'm trying to do what's best for my son and our family. I'm open to any more thoughts you guys have. Comment Keep it 1208 Of course your wife is ignoring you, you're supporting your son publicly disrespecting your wife because of a simple misunderstanding between you two about the tour. Your son is 14, yes, there will be plenty of times where he's upset with either of you and will want to vent. But you just told him that it's okay to passive-aggressively post those emotional and hurtful words publicly. You just supported him in hurting your wife instead of teaching your son to handle those emotions in a healthy and respectful way. I wouldn't be surprised if you always play cool friend to your son and force your wife to always be the bad cop. Professional 12 Me too. It's important for parents to back each other up. If this guy keeps up the you and me against mean old mom act, he's going to destroy his own marriage. Imaginary being 6,687 Hard disagree. My dad ignored me and treated me like a second thought my whole life. If he did pay attention to me it was being told no at getting scolded. Every time my mom just backed him up it made me think I deserved to be treated like that. Parents should not always back up the other. That's a toxic mindset. Narek Mitch There is a difference here, since the son was calling out the mother for being responsible and not wanting to send a 14-year-old on a rock tour, and that upset the son since she was being a responsible parent instead of trying to be the son's friend. Snugans No, the son is calling out the mother for backpedaling and lying. There is a huge difference than being responsible. The kid was under adult supervision and learned valuable life skills. Thank you for listening to today's story. Have a nice day.